Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do all signs, Aries through Pisces. What is being hidden from you? Keep in mind it is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, let's go ahead and start with Aries first. Aries, what is being hidden from you? What is being hidden from Aries? Okay, stuck, blockage, third party, silence, barrier, shifting your focus and clearing your energy. So you could be stuck on the idea of your person already entertaining a third party. We also have community, friendship, fun, a light heart, enjoy downtime with friends and family. And unexpected, surprise, unpredictable, shocking, and unusual. So something is going to come up unexpected, something that you don't see coming. And it could be this third party energy. Let's clarify, why is stuck here for this third party barrier? Why is stuck here? Okay, so somebody is stuck on not giving up on the connection with you, but they're also stuck on not giving up the connection with this other person. Why is community here for Aries? They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about the third party. They don't want to talk about this person that maybe they've known their whole life. They're, they're friends with it, but may, with this person, or maybe this is somebody that their family wants them to be with, but they don't want to be with. They don't want to talk about it. What's unexpected here for Aries? What's unpredictable? What's going to be the surprise here? Okay, that this person is going to finally detach from the third party. Third party. This is somebody who their family, maybe their cultural um, values are the same. This person maybe grew up with this person. This person has been reluctant and doesn't want to talk to you about, they've been fighting with their family behind the scenes about not wanting to be with this other person not wanting to um, have long lasting with them, but wanting to be with you. And that could be causing a lot of fights, yeah. This two of swords is in reverse. So that whatever this person had for uncertainty because of their family influencing them, they don't wanna tell you that they've been fighting behind the scenes about they're certain about what they want. And what is gonna be a shock and surprise that you're not seeing coming is they're gonna detach from that person. Yep. This could be a Leo, you could be a Leo. This is somebody who's not giving up on the connection with the two of you. They're building up the strength and courage to realize that they need to stand up against their family, against their friends, people that are trying to influence them to go towards this other person and not be with you. The High Priestess, this person is realizing they're listening to their intuition, that they need to detach with what everybody else is saying. So it does look like they are going to do that. Likely outcome, the Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups and the Three of Coins. This person knows that they don't need to be vulnerable or exposed to the vulnerability that this temptation brings with this other person because of their family or friends. They're coming towards you, wanting to work things out, letting you know that they're loyal and dedicated with you. Their heart is with you. They're emotionally happy with you. All right, let's move on to Taurus. Okay, Taurus, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is being hidden from Taurus at this time? What is being hidden from Taurus? Fear, so we do have afraid, uneasy, suspicion, and scared. Romantic feelings, falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotion. Taurus. Fated meeting, meant to be, destiny, predetermined, and encounter. So someone is afraid or uneasy of these romantic feelings they have for you, Taurus. This is somebody that they're falling for you like really fast. They're falling down the hill of the love bucket where their heart is just overwhelmed with these emotions. They feel like it was destiny or it's meant to be. So let's clarify, why is fear here? Why is the uneasiness? 
okay? Because maybe this person had learned from a lot of other relationships hard lessons and they feared if they give all of it to you, all of their love and emotions, that it's just gonna be another repeated lesson for them. Why is romantic feelings here? This person has a lot of emotions. I'm cleaning up my life. So yeah, this is somebody who went through a lot of tough lessons in love. They trusted too much. They didn't learn when to use their discernment. They didn't know when to use their intuition. Why is fated meeting here? Okay, so they are rebelling against the idea that this is fate or destiny. They know it. Their intuition knows it but they're kind of rebelling against saying it. Even though they're kind of giddy and happy inside, they do know that it was fate or destiny. Let's find out what's gonna happen here. Knight of Cups, they're following their heart with the lessons they've learned from the past to not repeat the cycle. The King of Wands, they're definitely taking the lead about these feelings and emotions. Like I said, they're falling down into the bucket hole of love, of their heart is overwhelmed. It's kind of like they're going down the slope into the pool and the pool is overflowing with emotions. Yep, nine of coins. So it looks like this is somebody who is looking at you as somebody who's very independent, very attractive. You have your life together and you maybe haven't went through as many tri trials and tribulations and lessons with when it comes to love and dating. And this is somebody who knows that if they put their guard up, they're gonna lose a really great opportunity with you. Ten of swords, they're putting an end to what they need to clean up when it comes to that baggage and the magician. They do understand that they want this connection, that it is fate and destiny, and it is something that they deserve. All right, Gemini. Gemini, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. What is being hidden from Gemini? Gemini, what's being hidden from you at this time? Gemini. Heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment, hesitation, past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward, addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession, and ascending, expansion, evolution, universal intelligence, and staying connected to spirit. Okay, so somebody's hurt and disappointed you. You're hesitant to evolve the connection and proceed with it because your person maybe has attachment issues. They could have drug or alcohol issues, gambling addiction, sex addiction. There could be something that is in their energy that's very toxic and you are hurt and disappointed that they can't overcome this toxicity and you feel like betrayed. Maybe this person said they were gonna go to rehab or they were gonna work through these issues, but they haven't. Universe is pushing you to ascend past this person. This person's in a very low vibration. And Universe is saying, you've been very stu stubborn and resistant to your own happiness. You've been hoping and wishing and waiting for this person and they keep hurting you and betraying you and telling you the things that you wanna hear but they're not doing the necessary work. Why is hesitation here? You're afraid to move forward, you're afraid to move on past this person. You live in this fantasy and illusion that they're going to get their act together, that they're going to vibrate and they're going to come up to your level. Why is addiction here? There's a toxic attachment here. You could be a, a, a attached to this person's unhappiness. I know that we are soulmates. So you're attached because you believe this person is your soulmate. Now, there are different types of soulmates. And this could be a karmic connection, which you are not meant to hold on to. You're meant to learn a lesson about yourself. So when you think about this connection, if it's very triggering and it's very intense, you may need to go research what a karmic connection is because this could be, you're addicted to the idea that this person's gonna get it together. The universe is saying, you're living in a fantasy and illusion. You are being pushed to elevate past this connection, to not stay in this connection, but to let it go. It's kind of like a sinking ship. You're still anchored to this person this person is sinking because they refuse to get the help and elevate, and you're gonna go down with them. Your elevation and your vibration is gonna go down, but what's being hidden is that attachment's about to be cut by the divine. You're about to go through a major tower moment, something you don't want to go to, go through, but it's because it's for your highest good. Spirit is saying, stay connected, 
because you're about to learn why this is about to happen and you're gonna be forced to accept it. You're not gonna have a choice. You're not gonna have a say. You're not gonna even understand it. You might be angry at God or the universe when it does happen, when it comes to an end. But this is serving your highest good. So let's get some tarot and find out. Because you've been very resistant or stubborn to this change. Because of the hurt and disappointment, you feel it's going to be worse on the other side of leaving this person than if you just continue to keep staying. Yeah, Queen of Coins, there's a sense of instability and insecurity that you're not trusting that the universe is trying to guide with you. The chariot is, you know what, get in your car and just move. Move, relocate, get away, go as far away. You, where you're traveling, this person is not allowed to go. There's no more, there's no more seats in the bus. There, there's no more room for their baggage in your vehicle. There's no room in your home for their junk and their garbage that they're bringing with them. <laughs> they're not allowed to come. They're not invited on this trip. The emperor, this is you being stubborn and addicted to, hey, we're soulmates. We got to be together because we are soulmates. No, 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 no. The universe is saying no, Gemini. No, 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 no. You need to, here's your tower moment. <laughs> I cannot make this up. This is what's going to happen. You're going to go through something very catastrophic and you are going to be forced to accept that it's over that this is probably a karmic connection or it's a twin flame that's not ready to be in alignment because your person is the sinking ship and you're gonna go down with them and the universe says, nope, you are at too high of a vibration, you're elevating above, you're going to ascend and we're not going to accept that, so we're gonna give you this tower moment. We've been giving you signs and synchronicities, you refuse to listen, you refuse to let this person go, so we're gonna give you the tower moment where you have no choice but to accept that you need to keep it rolling past this person. All right, Cancer, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48-hour turnaround. All right, Cancer, what is being hidden from Cancer? What does Cancer need to know is being hidden from them? What is being hidden from Cancer? All right, what's being hidden from cancer? Journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. Cancer. Deception, mask, illusion, uh, diplacy, I think is how you say it. Look beyond the superficial. Vibration, energy, and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. So right now, you need to be doing some journaling. There's some therapeutic exercises with journaling that is very good because there's something about you're living in an illusion, a fantasy. You're wearing a mask about potentially somebody that's deceiving you or there's deceptive energy around you and you're not supposed to be around. You're not supposed to be around this. This person is stringing you along. This person is not going to treat you or recognize the jewel that you really are. This person is very superficial, they're very selfish, they're very self-centered, and there's something about you needing to write down your feelings and emotions to feel and to see the therapeutic exercise of visually seeing the words of how this person makes you feel. This person makes you feel distant, makes you feel lonely, makes you feel confused. They say one thing, they do something else. Maybe they take advantage of you. They are definitely stringing you along. Why is vibration here? Don't push me away is what this person tells you. And I dream about you, but the universe is saying, where's your dreams? Where's your goals? Where is your aspiration of what you want and what you deserve? Because this person is luring you in, but they're, decept they're deceptive. They're deceiving you. And once they get you back into their web, then they turn around and do the same thing. It's kind of like this this um, stop, go, stop, go type energy, this coming and going. Let's get some tarot for Cancer. Knight of Coins, they're lacking the accountability and the commitment. They're not coming towards you, they're stringing you along. That's the deception that they're giving to you. Seven of Wands, they're very guarded about giving to you, but they're taking from you. They're receiving, so if you're given a money or a place to live or a car to drive or, um, food in their stomach or whatever it is that you're doing for this person, 
they are deceiving you and pushing against giving you what you need. They're stringing you along, keeping you on the back burner, saying, oh, don't push me away, Cancer. I, I love you or I dream about you. We're going to be married one day. We're going to have kids, you know, yada, yada, yada. The universe is saying you need to do some healing. With the sun card, this is an energy of you need to raise your vibration, raise your self-esteem, raise your confidence to recognize the true value that you do bring to the table. You don't maybe have the strength and courage, but this is what you need to develop. You need to develop the courage to say no more and work on yourself. Be able to journal. Is Sometimes people are different learners. They learn things different ways. And maybe people have been talking in your ear saying this person's no good, that they're just stringing you along. They're never going to give you a commitment. They're never going to step up. They're never going to take care of you. And journaling, putting it on paper, maybe you're not somebody who hears it and learns. Maybe you visually need to see it wrote out. Write down everything how this person has said to you and then write a list next to that. Did they actually do what they said? They said they were going to take you out for your birthday. Did they do that? No. Did they purchase a um, groceries for the week like they said they would? No. Did they take care of your mortgage payment like they said they would? No. Like you really need to see the hard visualization of what did you give this person versus what did they give you? and tally it at the end because the universe is saying this person is stringing you along and you have not had the strength and courage to detach from the situation, but you need to. And look at that, you've got the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're living in this fantasy and illusion that this person's going to do this someday. Well, you know what, today's the day. You have so many other options. You're being forced to push your vibration up. You need to heal and love yourself again so that you can understand this person is not serving your highest good. They're not going to give you what you think is going to be this fantasy or this illusion that they're trying to sell you. Okay, Leo. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Leo. Oh, am I supposed to take that? No, no travel right now, Leo. Universe says no traveling. It's not the right time for you. So if you were planning to take a trip, now is not the time to take that trip. All right. What does Leo not know? What, what's being hidden from Leo at this time? What's being hidden from Leo? Third party? Interference, cheating, competition, or mistress? What's being hidden from Leo? Feminine, your divine feminine, seeking your twin or your soulmate. What's being hidden from Leo? Sacred journey. Understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. So you're going through a situation right now with somebody who has you in a third party. Whether you know it or not, Leo, this person you may think like, oh, they're my soulmate or they're my twin flame and I have all these feelings and emotions. Well, this person is a part of your journey. They are definitely a part of your journey, but there's something about you discovering your true self because of this person. So let's clarify, why is third party here? Cheating, interference, competition, mistress. Why is third party here? Okay, so this person is talking to other people about this third party and you, and I'm lonely without you. So this person enjoys the companionship of this third party, and when they get lonely from the connection with you, they go towards this other person. They seek validation from this other person. This person gives them attention. What's this feminine energy? Okay, so this could be somebody they were married to, somebody they're separated with. Maybe they're divorcing this person. This person is somebody who's maybe helping them with some legal issues. Maybe they're funding their legal issues. I hurt others like this before. They've done this to this person before. This is a person from their past. So if you're with somebody who had, they told you this toxic ex that used them and took them for everything, yada, 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 they are going through it with that third party. They're still entertaining that third party. They're still trying to go back to that third party while they're still with you. Why sacred journey here? That's what's being hidden from you, Leo. They're love bombing you. You're supposed to learn the lesson of this connection. This person is damaged. You're supposed to learn that this person is damaging you and your value, your self-worth, your um, the way you look at yourself, that you're supposed to discover who you truly are because of the way this person is treating you 
and the way this person is making you feel. And you might be ignoring it, but the universe is saying, this is what's being hidden from you. This person is not divorcing this person. It's not over with that other person. They're still trying to get or reconcile with this other person. When they leave you or they feel distant, you feel like they're distant from you, it's because they're going towards that other person. Let's get some tarot. Yep, strength. It could be another Leo you're dealing with. This person is really cocky. They think they're all that. They think that they're getting away with this. Nine of Cups, they see you as somebody that they wish that you would just accept them being with somebody else without them having to hide it from you. They know that that's not true. And the universe is saying, you know, even though this person is giving you an opportunity of a relationship, it's not a genuine, valid, open relationship that you want because they're kind of forcing you into it like a, an open relationship where you could date or sleep with other people. And that's not maybe what you signed up for, Leo. There's something about you recognizing making yourself the priority. This person is juggling you. And maybe you've even intuitively felt it at one point, like, are they talking to somebody else? Are they spending time with somebody else? Something doesn't feel right. That's your intuition telling you the truth. Nine of Swords, maybe you spent a lot of nights by yourself. This person was supposed to be there with you and they weren't. You wonder, where are they? Oh, they went on a boys or girls trip or they went out of town for work. They had to travel. Something came up with their family. Their grandma's sick and they went to go see their grandma. And you doubted the story they told you. Your intuition was right. The emperor of this person is somebody who's very stubborn and set in their ways. And Leo, what's being hidden from you is this person is love bombing you in every which form or fashion and you have to wake up to it. You need to step up and get into the emperor energy and you need to get into your Leo energy, your lioness or lion energy. Okay, Virgo. Virgo. All right, Virgo. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, Virgo, my website's timelessdivinecaro.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, what is being hidden from Virgo? What is being hidden from Virgo at this time? Crossroads, choice, multiple options, turning point, and indecisive. What's being hidden from Virgo? Take those two, okay. All right, roll the dice. Take a chance, risk, leap of faith and strategy. And then we also have friends. So acquaintance, trust, support, and loyalty. So there's something that you might be at a little bit of a crossroads or one of your friends close to you is at a crossroads about you. They're kind of strategizing if they wanna take a leap of faith towards you, if they wanna to advance towards you, then just this casual um, encounter between the two of you. This is somebody who's single, they see you as single. They're kind of indecisive if they should say, hey, let's go on a date, or hey, maybe we should try this and see if this would work. This person loves you, they have a lot of loyalty towards you and they do trust you. They maybe are over, a little bit overwhelmed with, they, they couldn't handle you with a certain situation where maybe you talk a lot, this person's a little more introverted and they felt like maybe they need to strategize how they can handle all your talking, but they do like you. That's why they're indecisive right now. Yeah, answers are coming in silence. I just said that they were being quiet. So this person is strategizing, taking a leap of faith towards you because you do talk a lot, but they're, they're very tunnel vision that they want this, that they feel that the two of you could get along really well. This person maybe feels like you have commitment issues, that maybe you're non-committal as a whole. They're loyal and dedicated to you. Even if you're not in a relationship, this person in their mind, they're like, oh, I'm already dedicated and I'm taking my Virgo, but Virgo doesn't know we're not in a relationship, we're just friends. This person secretly is telling themselves they're already committed to you, but there's no like formal commitment. It's so funny. All right, maybe because they know you have commitment issues, Virgo. Let's see. Page Swords, they're watching, they're observing. They're seeing how you're interacting with them. They are accepting that you don't want commitment issues for right now. However, they are going to make a decision to say something to you. This is somebody who 
They maybe were confused in the past, but they've been observing you. The more they observe you, they have figured you out. They figured out you don't have commitment issues when it comes to friends. So that's kind of where this person is at. They're in this placeholder zone, but they want to push past. So they're trying to figure out the exact steps. They're strategizing how they can risk it and actually convince you to give them a chance in a relationship. Yeah, four of swords, they're coming out of this introspection and they're getting uncomfortable because they're very tunnel vision with, okay, I just need to let Virgo know that I want to be in a relationship. I know they have commitment issues, but I'm willing to be patient with them. Yep, Nine of Cups. They see you as their wish fulfillment. The High Priestess, their intuition is telling them that they can make this work, that they can convince you that you could get in a relationship. They're willing to wait. They're willing to earn your trust so that you don't have commitment issues. This person understands why you have commitment issues, but they feel like you commit as a friend. Why not commit as a romantic partnership? All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, Scorpio. What is being hidden from Scorpio at this time? What is being hidden from Scorpio? Magnetic attraction. Alluring, lust, irresistible, and flirting. Divine timing. Wrong timing. It's a stalemate. Perfect timing. Waiting. And party. Celebration, event, public, or social gathering. Someone's very attracted to you, Scorpio. They're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen here. Um, your birthday could be coming up. Their birthday could be coming up. Somebody's birthday is coming up with this social gathering. There's a party or event. This person is waiting for you to invite them. I don't know if this is your party or a friend's party or get together of some sort, but this person is waiting for you to invite them. Yeah, they feel like they're not going to forgive you if you don't invite them because they want to be a part of it. They're very drawn towards you. Why is divine timing here? They're very passionate. They've put in the work with you. They want to spend more time with you. Why is party here? I'm distracting myself with work. Yeah, <laughs> they're trying to be really busy acting like they're work. Maybe it's a work um, colleague, but this person is waiting for you to invite them to something. They're healing. October 13th is coming out. So this person is waiting for you to invite them to something. They're very attracted to you. Let's get some tarot and find out for Libra. What is this? What's going on with this person? Why are they hiding this? This is somebody new. You've not, never been in a relationship with this person, the Ace of Cups. This person is flirting with you at work. This is a work colleague. They're flirting with you because they want an opportunity. There's something coming up. Maybe there's a corporate party or corporate event that you're both gonna go to and they're gonna waiting for you to say, hey, do you wanna ride together? Do you wanna go together? We can go to the event together. So maybe neither one of you have um, significant others to go to the event with. This person is just waiting for you to invite them. They're, <laughs> look at this. Look at this guy in this picture. He's like, I'm holding on to hope that Scorpio is going to ask me to ride with them to the party. <laughs> There's the car. Scorpio, invite this person to the party. Say you want to ride together. They, they just want to get to a place of peace because they're very attracted to you. They see you very much in a leadership role. This is somebody who wants to go with you to whatever this event is. You know, maybe it's a colleague's birthday party, a corporate event, some sort. What's being hidden is this person is waiting it out to see if you're going to invite them to this party or to ride together or whatever. They may just wait and see if you're going to actually do it. Otherwise, they may not step up and say anything. Okay, did I miss Libra? We're going to do Libra right now because I think I missed Libra. All right, Libra. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24-48 hour turnaround. What is being hidden from Libra? What's being hidden from Libra at this time? Material world, money, career, status, third dimension, mark, make your mark, Libra. What's being hidden from Libra? <clears throat> what is being hidden from Libra? What is being hidden from Libra? 
text message, communication, news, phone call, direct message, and intuition, gut feeling, psychic premonition, sixth sense. So your intuition is telling you something or something with this person that wants to communicate with you that they need to make their mark. This person that is maybe thinking about you wants to communicate. Somebody wants to communicate with you, Libra. So let's find out who this is. High Priestess. So this is somebody whose intuition is screaming at them. We've got double confirmation. This person is, intuition is saying, you know what? You better reach out to Libra. You need to just do this. You need to send Libra communication. Make your mark known of what you want from them or what you're expecting from them. Two of Cups? What? This person sees you as their soulmate. Their intuition is telling them that there's so much more in this connection between the two of you, Libra. And the Knight of Swords, they're coming in with communication. Their intuition is screaming, you know what? Send Libra a message. You know your soulmates. You know you want to be with them. You know that you like them. You know you love them. You know it, it's there. This Two of Cups is all about making the choice and also understanding there could be a soul connection here, a soul bond. Yeah, the Hangman, this is in reverse. So this person is kind of not, not pausing anymore. They maybe have been thinking about it and their intuition's been telling them, but they're coming out of that pause, stagnant energy. And look at that. The Knight of Swords are coming in quick with communication. So this person could be um, a Scorpio, a Libra, could be a water sign. All right, Libra. Um, all right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. All right, what is being hidden from Sagittarius? What is being hidden from Sagittarius? What's being hidden from you, Sagittarius? Travel. Distance, boundaries, far apart, get away. Music, musician, snake, charmer, harmony, and mel melodic. Healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. You could be in a twin flame connection you might be needing to do some healing from. Let's clarify, why is travel here? It's all about distance and boundaries, Sagittarius. Why is travel here? I regret ghosting you. So somebody ghosted you. They put you on red. They have maintained boundaries. This is somebody, there is distance here. Why is music? They're listening to music that can't move on from you. Why is healing here for Sagittarius, this person? The energy around Sagittarius. Okay, this is somebody who wants to confess something. They're trying to breathe it out by doing therapeutic breathing. They are trying to um, figure out if you will actually forgive them. This is somebody who hasn't been able to move on from the situation. They do regret ghosting you. They feel the remorse over the choice and decision of ghosting you, Sagittarius. So let's get some tarot and find out what is being hidden for Sagittarius. Page of Cups. This person is coming in with an apology, Sagittarius. That is what's being hidden. They are wanting to be sensitive to your needs. They want to try to work it out because they can't move on. They keep thinking about the past and they should not have done what they've done. They see you as somebody who's very independent. They want to confess that they are sorry. And with the wheel is they want to be able to move forward with you. They feel like there's a turning point in their life that is forcing them to come back towards you because they can't move on. And they do have a lot of regrets over ghosting you. Capricorn, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Capricorn, what is being hidden from Capricorn at this time? What is being hidden from Capricorn at this time? What's being hidden from Capricorn? Capricorn? Toxic relationship, soulmate, so fighting, codependency, misunderstanding, triggering, compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. We also have travel and snake. So movement, meeting, adventure, be ready for new experiences, and then snake is deception, shady, temptation, enemy. So Capricorn, you could be involved with somebody that it's a very toxic connection. You could feel like it's your soulmate, it's the person you're supposed to be with. And you've maybe had a lot of adventures with being with this person, having movement and new experiences. However, 
there is temptation here and there is toxicity. So this could be a karmic connection or this person is dealing with a karmic person. So let's find out why is toxic relationship here. Okay, this is a short-term commitment with this other person, Capricorn. I feel guilty for what I've done. This person maybe had cheated on you, Capricorn. That's what's being hidden with this other person. They did not progress or move forward with this soulmate or they thought was a soulmate. They're waiting on you. They want to be with you. Clarify travel. Why is that here? Okay, there is there is distance here with the helicopter. So there is a dream about, you know, maybe having new experiences coming together, flying to come see you, maybe live at a distance. Why snake here? This is temptation and deception. I inspire others. This person maybe got inspired by other people. They are saying that they are a kind person at the soul. Even though they did cheat or they did go outside the connection, they feel guilty about that. That's what's being hidden, but they're feeling inspired now to no longer be deceptive, to no longer be that person, to no longer put you in a third-party situation that you don't even know anything about. It was a short-term fling that maybe happened with this person. Let's see what the tarot. Capricorn. Yep, Eight of Swords. They're caught up in their head over the guilt over this fling they had. They're trying to overcome the, the trust and the vulnerability that they had of why they did what they did. They are looking at things from a different perspective. They're coming out of introspection and there's a tower moment coming. So this person is realizing that something drastic has to change because they've changed the whole dynamic of your relationship. If you thought Capricorn, this person was somebody who was loyal and dedicated and you never expected this from this person, this person is saying they were feeling inspired to be a better version, but they are a kind person. They never meant to hurt you, but you don't know that this has happened yet. It looks like this is not going to last. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there's not a longevity here because you may find out eventually about this unexpected cheating and this person and their toxic ways. Yeah, it looks like you're going to build up your strength and courage, Capricorn, to let this person go. Aquarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48-hour turnaround. Aquarius. All right, what is being hidden from Aquarius? What is being hidden from Aquarius? Aquarius. One more. What's being hidden from Aquarius? Hookup. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship or fling. Destruction. Tower moment, unexpected change, new opportunity, and free will. Choices, decisions, contact, inaction, action cannot be forced. Okay, Aquarius, so something has happened that it, you don't know about. There's been some type of one night stand or a casual hookup your person did. They know that they have destroyed the opportunity of being with you. And now they're maybe making the choice to not tell you, but just kind of have the free will and choice of doing whatever it is that they want. Clarify hookup. You make me believe in love. So this person is realizing they didn't love this other person, that they actually loved you or they love you. You make them believe that love is actually real. Their priorities are messed up. They didn't make the love that they know they had with you a priority. Why is destruction here, this tower moment? Because it was a new opportunity. They had temptation that lured them outside of the connection. But they love you. They're saying the truth and clarity is they love you. And divine timing is at play here. Clarify free will. They're going to try to repair and reconcile with you. You don't know this has happened, Pisces. Only you know this because of this reading. So this is something that this person knows. They love you, but they messed up. They were tempted. They were lured by a new opportunity with somebody. Maybe they never get attention from anybody. And this person wooed them in uh, and in and out of the their pants, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what the tarot says. Six swords, they are wanting to get to a place of peace, of accepting they messed up. They didn't have the right priorities and set in place at the time and that they should have never done that. Nine of pentacles, they see you as somebody attractive, someone who doesn't need them. And the death card, they're putting an end to this temptation they had. They, they tested the waters. Maybe this is somebody that you both were your first. This person had never been with anybody else. They got tempted by somebody and then they decided, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. The fan is blowing my hair. They're like, I'm just going to go for it. Well, you know what they realized? 
they're making the choice. They're putting an end to it. That's not what they want. They want to repair and reconcile with you. They see marrying you. They see a future with you. This person tested the waters and it made them realize real quick the water was real cold. It wasn't warm. It wasn't luscious and it didn't give them the emotional satisfaction they want. Page of Wands are coming in with the communication to let you know this. And the Hermit. This is something they've been holding for quite a while. This is something they've been thinking about for a long time about how they're going to be able to have the free will to tell you this and how they're going to actually repair and reconcile the connection with you. Pisces. All right, Pisces. What is being hidden from you? If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Pisces, what is being hidden from Pisces at this time? Pisces. Let's see what's being hidden from Pisces. Legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, judgment, offer, gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoice in your union. Pisces. Solitude, retreat, introspection, silence, go deep within and alone. Abandon, lonely, lost, the divine is in you, or it, the divine is with you, excuse me. So Pisces, something's happening, a decision's being made about an offer. You could feel like, you know, if you're married, maybe you're getting separated or you're going through a divorce, there's going to be an offer on the table, but it does feel like you're going to feel like a, a lonely and abandoned over the situation. If you're not married, maybe you're in a relationship, you're expecting an, uh, an engagement, it doesn't happen. And because of that, you decide to go within, you decide to go silent from your person because you feel lost, you feel abandoned, like you were expecting this person to propose and they never did. Why is legal matter here? Okay, there's temptation here of... Filing for divorce, having separation, um, maybe third party. I took you for granted. This person could realize they took you for granted. It is what it is. So them not proposing to you, it is what it is. They they are not wanting to justify it. Um, they If the two of you were married and you're separated, they're just not wanting to realize what they need to do to collaborate to work this out because they're avoiding the conversation. Why solitude here? Clarify solitude. Okay, this person wants sympathy for themselves. They want everybody to give them sympathy, not you. Why is alone here? You are a better person than me. So this person is acknowledging that they've damaged this connection, that they are a better version. You are a better version of a person than they are during this time period. Let's get some tarot Pisces when it comes to what's being hidden from you. Pisces, eight of cups in reverse and seven of wands. This is somebody pushing you away. Somebody is maybe coming back to you after a time of isolation, after a time of putting their guard up and justice. So you could have tried, maybe you and your person separated, you were married, you legally separated, or you were going through the divorce proceedings. They're going to backpedal and try to return to you, but they're going to be very guarded. They know that you're a better person than them. They're not wanting to change. They're wanting you to accept them for who they are. And then the justice is going to come out again. So the truth is that there's a lack of long-term jeopardy. There's a lack of long-term commitment. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So this means if you are married, you're likely going to be tempted to just file with the divorce again or legal separation. Or you're just going to break up with this person again. There's too much hurt, too much vulnerability. And this person's not taking the accountability. So what's being hidden from you is this person is avoiding having the conversation. Even though they're, they're tempted to try to return to you again and try to make it work, they're not actually going to put in the work. And that's what's being hidden from you.